Hello, everyone. Um, welcome. Uh, welcome back if you joined us last time. And if you're new, welcome. Uh, my name is Tulani. Uh, so welcome to the Livestock Wealth Macadamia Investments Q&A webinar. Uh, I'm the head of social media, and I'll go over the format before handing over to our CEO, Ntutu Koshezi. Uh, to begin, we will introduce our guest partner farmer, Jean Likanya, and then we will move into the Q&A section. We'll be posting a recording of this webinar next week for those who want to listen again and share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, you can like and follow us on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. We hope you enjoy this session and thank you for joining. Before I introduce our CEO, here's a, a short video. This is Macadamia Nut Orchards, where you can make your money grow by owning a macadamia nut tree as it grows. Macadamia nut tree orchards are the highest earning agricultural product per hectare but they take six years to produce the first harvest and income. You can own the macadamia nut tree as it grows, and the farmer will buy it back from you at the first harvest for almost double your money back. Invest for 2,000 Rand and get up to 4,163 Rand 95 cents in six years. Invest today. Download the Livestock Wealth My Farm Book app available on Apple or Android. Good morning, good morning, uh, everyone, and thank you, thank you so much for joining us at today's uh, uh, webinar. This is our second installment of our webinar series, and the I always believe this one thing. Uh, Warren Buffett once said, uh, "Never invest in something you do not understand." So it's always been my mantra to make sure that whatever we do at Life of Wealth. But if a five-year-old can understand it, then we're doing the right thing. So this, is, this webinar is part of that, that drive of making sure that uh, people invest in things they understand. So thank you so, so much for joining. Um, I would like to just thank all the farmers uh, who are part of this webinar, farmers, staff, and investors. Do we have any farmers, uh, or our partner farmers who have joined? Uh, okay, Jean, yes, one. <laughs> um, yes, um, and then investors as well. So thank you all for, for joining and being, being part of this conversation. Uh, and thank you to, most important, to our staff. Um, our staff do so much uh, while being so few. And really, we, we value uh, you guys and for really helping to put this uh, webinar together. Um, now, uh, uh, Farmer Jean Likanya needs no introduction, uh, but I will do a quick introduction. Um, so uh, Jean, uh, I, I first got to know her through a common friend. There's a lady called Bridget uh, who runs the, the South African Breweries uh, Foundation. So Livestock Work is, is, was a winner of the SAB uh, Social Innovation Awards. Um, in 2017, and Jean as well has been greatly supported by the South African SAB Foundation as well. So, and I've, I'd always been talking to Bridget and saying, hey, Bridget, you know, as Livestock World, we want to be able to go beyond cows. You know, we don't want to just be the cow people. We want to we wanna be able to invest in other things like macadamia. The moment I said macadamia, she grabbed me by the hand and said, um, this was at the award ceremony in 2017, 20, 2018, 2018, right about October, uh, if I'm not mistaken. She grabbed him by the hand and said, you, you, you need to meet this guy. Uh, so he grabbed him by the hand and we went to the, to the bar area. Uh, and in the bar area, we found Farmer Jean. And uh, as they say, uh, the rest is history. Jean, uh, welcome and thank you for joining us. No, no, thank you, Mr. Shazi. It's a pleasure being with you guys. Great stuff. No, absolutely. Now, we, we're going to talk a lot of business now, but before we get into business, I just, I just want us to understand you. Uh, who is Farmer Jean? Uh, does he have a dog? Does he have a cat? Uh, what's the name of the dog? <laughs> Kids? 
uh, how old, how that kind of stuff. So just so 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 we so we know you better. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Shazi, I think uh, thank you, thank you guys for the opportunity. Um, yeah, Farmer Gene is a is a more of an entrepreneur, but um, yes, I'm I'm driven by a huge passion um, within the agricultural space. Um, I'm I'm basically a 36, turning 37 year old. A married gentleman. I've got a I've got a wife that's from Swaziland, and they and a one and a five year old son that are based in Nalspreet. So our farming interests are basically all the way up in 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 Limpopo, but then soon we're looking for opportunity in Bumalanga, um, into different different areas of agriculture as well. Um, Farmer Gene has been farming. I've been farming for the past 15, 16 years as, as we speak. We've been doing macadamia since 2005. We we basically started, we started very small. We started on a two and a half hectare um, piece of orchard that that I bought um, actually from savings. My first job, my first job, I was actually a farmer, I mean, a soldier. I worked for the SNDF for, for a couple of years and a bit of savings that I did there, I, I, I bought our first two, two and a half hectares of, of, of land and and slowly but surely we started buying the neighboring orchards out around us in a in a community called Chakuma. If you guys know a bit of football, the team called Chakuma Chamazibandera. Um, that is where we farm. That, that is where we're from. Mm -hmm. uh, that farm sits now at around 15, 16 hectares that are producing. So we've got very, very, very good productive uh, producing orchards in 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 Chakuma. And 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 the landscape or the environment you see me in, this is the this is the big development uh, in a community called Amashau. Uh, you are up, actually the background you see in nursery. This I'm sitting in the nursery as I'm speaking to you guys because it just shows you we, we need to grow. So, so it's we're not busy trying to zoom background, eh? Oh yes, <laughs> just to be, but do a bit of that. Yeah. That's our nursery. <laughs> And that's our nursery. We actually we're sitting at around twenty-two to twenty-three thousand trees in this nursery that we need to expand our business. So yes, that's basically that's basically Gene. I'm an agripreneur. Um we 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 farming around this side. Soon we'll be setting up another macadamia farm in Nalspreit. So yes, we we we're busy. We're mm -hmm. extremely busy and, and that's really thank you to to, to, to you guys, Livestock Wealth, and, and our investors that are listening to us now as we speak. Yeah. Now, Gene, when you show us the, the orchard, the, the nursery behind you with 22,000 trees, and you mentioned in 60 hectares of, of macadamia planted. By the way, uh, uh, Livestock Wealth has uh, investors, uh, have invested about close to 7 million rands worth of macadamia uh, at, uh, at Gene's uh, uh, Hamashau in Banda Farm. But um, it looks so easy uh, now you sitting be, uh, just in front of this nursery. But uh, talk us through the journey of how you started and what challenges you faced along, along the way. Uh, guys, <laughs> it's, 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 it's Mr. Shays, it's, it's a very interesting question. And, and you know, I think a, a lot of people always people see what they see by, through the naked eye, but then it's always a very um, difficult, difficult journey. We, 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 we started, you know, as, as I mentioned, we, we started on, on two and a half hectares, 15, 16 years back, um, you know, and, and when you start such small practices, organizations, you know, you, you need to be the man on the ground, you know, you need to, you know, debushing. I saw in the picture, Mr. Shazi, you showed a couple of beautiful bulldozers that we own. Um, yeah. um, you know, but, you know, those things were not there. So, you know, when you clear land, it was, you know, it's a spade and a foshol uh, and, and, and a handsaw. We, yeah. we had to do that. We had to debush all that land ourselves. I think... Uh, I think uh, Jean's uh, connection is thrown up. The apologies there, but uh, she's going to connect us now. Um, um, when she joins again, uh, we we we're going to uh, we, we we're going to continue. But I, I will I will I will fill in just a few of the of of the of the gaps while we're waiting for him to 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 reconnect. 
uh, he's at the farm, people. Uh, at the farm, um, network doesn't uh, does, doesn't just appear as, as in the cities. I've, I've experienced this, you know, the moment you leave the city and go to the farm, uh, the, the, the phone companies really are still to invest in, in infrastructure uh, there. But uh, when he joins, we'll, 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 when he rejoins, we're going to continue just now. But what I wanted to, what I wanted just to add to, to what Gene was saying is that uh, I think in the slideshow that, that you guys saw, uh, there's lots of these uh, bulldozers. The bulldozers are the, the machines that, that clear the ground. So when you're starting a macadamia uh, plantation, you need the ground to be clean and, and empty. So it means removing trees, and you're gonna to need to remove trees all the way from the ground up. You need to really pluck them out and pluck them out and get them out, um, so that so that you've got nice clean ground, and then then you're able then to to start working. So um, there's a there's a there's a hell lot of, of a lot of work that's that's involved in that. And then after clearing the ground, well, Jin will, will speak to that just now when 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 he rejoins. Um, uh, after clearing, after clearing the ground, you need to then um, um, have trees. Uh, and some of the challenges that, uh, that Jin will attest to when he speaks now is, um, is, well, is, is, is uh, there's a waiting list for trees. Like for example, like, like if you wanted to start a macadamia plantation now, um, you would have to wait about three years, uh, about three years or so to, to get, um, to get uh, your 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 first tree, so that's 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 how much in demand um, the, the 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 crop is, and there isn't enough supply, and and really the the one thing that is the the greatest um, um, I'll say bottleneck in the whole system is that uh, the macadamia tree takes about six years to grow. So if you, if you saw our intro, uh, our intro, uh, um, our intro video, uh, it takes about six years to grow the macadamia tree. So what does that mean then uh, um, uh, for, for you and me as, as people wanting to start farming? It means that you, you gotta have six years of money, uh, six years of buying the land, paying installments, uh, you gotta have uh, six years of, of salaries and wages. Uh, you gotta have uh, six years of, um, of of tractor and diesel costs, irrigation, fertilizers, all those things that you need uh, to to have uh, with you all the time uh, and every month and paying your staff and only wait and only getting your first payday after six years. Now. There's not a, there's not many people in the world uh, who can work for six years uh, before getting their first paycheck. It's very few, uh, but you, you you do find that the macadamia farmers and a few other commodities. Uh, but this is one with the longest waiting times uh, in terms of fruits. Uh, so uh, so the macadamia farmers are really patient people. That uh, um, that can wait six years before. That's where we come in as livestock world, uh, where we then partnering, partnering with the farmer. Uh, I see Gene is back. Um, please get us uh, Gene back. There we go. Yes, yes, I'm back on guys, sorry for that. No worries. Uh, so Gene, while you, while you broke off, off, I just explained to the guys uh, that the six years it takes to, to bring a tree from the time you clear the ground to the time that that you you plant the tree. So, and it's, I just I, I explained you know the, the difficulty that you know you have to have six years of money lying around um, to 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 look after the tree for six years. Did I tell any lies there? No, no, you 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 are hundred percent correct, yeah. Mister Shea. I think um, that was that was a few years back. Um, since, since time times have moved on. I think uh, um, the, the, the scientists have developed better cultivars, stronger, more resistant. So the, the, the trees are, are buying from us are trees that we planted in November 
2019 and 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 yeah, 2023 we should we should get in business. So um, yes, it's it's it, it's really all about what 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 you how you support the tree, the nutrition you give it. Uh, you have to give it the best of nutrition. You have to give it what it wants when it wants it. And I think you you know you'll get great, you enjoy great results, and the quicker you can develop the tree to be a good carrier and a good mother, then the quicker it will start giving you results. Excellent, excellent. Um, now, uh, let's talk. Let's talk about the numbers. Like, uh, if if I wanted, to, if, if, if if as a person I wanted to start a macadamia orchard, let's say one hectare, just just one hectare, a little less than half of what you started off with uh, sixteen years ago. How much money do I need? And um, how, how much money do I basically need to, to get going? And um, maybe talk about the waiting list and the challenges there around getting trees. And then, um, and what can I expect uh, when uh, in, terms of, in terms of income? Let's say, let's say there's people listening and they're really keen on starting out farming macadamia. Yes. So guys, um, the, the Macadamia farming orchards are very, very expensive to develop. Two years back, it costed around rough 360, 380,000 rand. In today's time, it will cost you just around 400 to 420,000. Um, the big cost, of course, being land preparation. You need to order your trees up two years, at least two years up front. Um, you need to order your trees. Uh, the cost of fertilizer, the cost of labor, the cost of irrigation. So it will roughly cost you around 400,000 to set up. And then just after that, it will cost you around 30,000 a year operationally. That's on your fertilizer, your labor, electricity. And, and when you do start making your money, of course, the smaller the tree, the less it can carry. But over time, as the tree starts growing, the more nuts you want your tree to carry more nuts the more nuts you've got the more money you make um, producing top producing orchards the orchards we have in takuma the half to five tons per hectare that equates to around eighty thousand times five so we're making around three hundred five fifty thousand per hectare um, per per year, of course, increasing with inflation and pricing. So one can really do the maths. Um, you know, this macadamia is a long term business, guys. You know, you're not gonna get rich in 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 five years. You're not gonna get rich in ten years. I think year ten up to year fifty, because these trees we're planting now, these trees you see in the nursery, um, you know, the, these guys will they're gonna they're gonna produce probably until 2040, 2045. So mm. as Mr. Shares is saying, it's a long term business. Um, you, you have to hang in there, but then, you know, once you start making the money, it's not as easy as making it sound to be. There's a lot of risk that's involved, you know, there's a lot of pests involved in the business. So you need to make sure you take care of your trees. You need to make sure you give the scout. You need to make sure you, 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 you apply chemicals when you need to. You need to make sure you fight against thing bugs, uh, fight off right? There's, there's a lot of risk involved that you need to make sure that you, you've got the right practices and the right people to make sure that that specific tree gives you the right amount of nuts and right amount of weight to get the right amount of money out of the tree. So um, I think long story short, uh, Mr. Shazi, to get to the numbers, good producing orchards can give you around 400,000 uh, per hectare. That is for the next 30 to 40, 45 years. Right. Now, um... Now, while you're there, I think most people sometimes ask and say, um, uh, why is our investment only six, six years and, and not 30 years? Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that people understand that when, when, when you looked at the problem that needs to be solved now, the problem is there is not enough trees. Uh, there's just way too much demand uh, for, the, for the nuts from the US, from China, from Europe, uh, in fact, last year, uh, in July this year, in, 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 I think Jean, uh, the, the Macadamia magazine featured, featured Livestock Wealth um, in that magazine. Yeah. Um, actually, one of the headlines in that magazine, I, I was on the cover of the magazine, was that there were, this year there, were, there was not enough 
uh, uh, crop produced to meet the demand? Um, like, like how, how, much, how much more work do you think needs to, still to be done to, to catch up in terms of supply meeting demand on the macadamia? Once as a business, Madimbo Macadamia, if I say we as a business are on par, we are managing or we are, our input into the system is sufficient enough to cover demand, I would roughly say we will have needed to plant a minimum of a thousand hectares. A thousand hectares? That is what we need to get to. Yes, a thousand hectares, yes. Sure. That is what we need to get as a, as, as a business. Mm. The, 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 the big drive there, I think the market is very competitive. So yeah. macadamia in the group and the family of nuts, our competitors are almonds, um, pecans, pistachios, all of these guys, groundnuts, that's really our competitors. Mm -hmm. and, and we, the macadamia is slowly but surely, we only represent three and a half to 4% of the world nuts, by the way, as a, mm -hmm. as a, as a family. Yeah. Um, you know, so we're still in a very, very, very small space in terms of how do we compete with the other families, but where does the macadamia find a competitive edge? Is it, is it the oils that the guys are starting to make? Is it macadamia? Um, is it pasteurized milk that the guys are looking at? Um, is it the kernels? Is it, you know, and it's really got to do with the health benefits, um, you know, the, the, the healing oils that the macadamia can produce, yeah. the, the cooking oil, which is actually the waste product of the nut that, that, um, that we are able to cook with. So there's a lot of benefits that, 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 um, that the macadamias have from a health and multi-purpose uses of functions that they have that, that that is why we keep on planting that is why we keep on putting up the nurseries because we need to compete just as strong as the other families and the nuts are doing so there's still a large gap i still think that we can get plant on the ground until 2028 2030 i, I then think that we'll we'll we'll, we'll start to, to 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 reach a ceiling from a planting point of view so there's incredibly still a lot of work that has to be done from, from, from a nursery point of view, and the trees have to get on the ground. That's really the secret to that. Correct. Now, um, so there's, there's people asking, I see some of the questions popping, where can we buy seeds? I think everyone, everywhere, even in Joburg uh, and, and uh, at Northwest, uh, people think they can plant macadamia pretty much anywhere. Please just talk a little bit about, you know, about the limitations around where can one plant macadamia? Because I know that it only works in certain areas and doesn't work in others. Um, Mr. Shizzy, yes. So to, to really give you an answer, not everybody can plant macadamia. It, it really, it has to do with environment. Macadamia, the tree itself originates from Australia, from, from the subtropics of Australia. It's actually a forest tree that can grow up to 12, 12 14, 16 meters in height. So the macadamia loves the sun, it hates the cold. So wherever there's frost related, wherever there's frost, it's a no-no to macadamia. Wherever there's too much cold, it's a no-no to macadamia. Um, wherever there's too much dry heat, it's also a big no. So macadamia, the tree itself loves the subtropical. So it loves a good temperature, it, it loves the humidity, it loves a lot of rain, um, it, it loves balanced climate. So those are really the three factors, and it loves good soils as well. So where yeah. you've got poor soils, you're not going to win. Um, but I think rather climate-wise, you will see the big growers on um, Pumalanga, and not everywhere in Pumalanga, but the Lofeld, all the way stretching to Kumati Ward. Mm -hmm. In Venda, it's your Hazer View, it's your Tanin, it's your Levubu areas, and it's really areas that are lying within the subtropical belt are really the favorites when it comes to macadamia farming. So we're sitting in that belt, hence we're so much fortunate um, to be able to, pro to plant the trees. Yeah, no. great. Thank, thank you for that insight there, Gene. Now, um, we're gonna open up for questions. I think we've got about uh, another, uh, almost 15 minutes uh, to go. Uh, Tulani, uh, I would um, hand over to you there. Then uh, Gene, Gene, myself, mostly Gene, uh, he's the star of today. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll answer all your questions. Uh, please go ahead, uh, Tulani. All right, thank you, Mr. Shezi and Jean. Uh, now it's time for the live Q&A section. 
So if you haven't already done so, please, your, please add your questions in the chat and we'll get through as many as we can. Uh, and please raise your hand if you want to ask a question. Uh, if we choose you, you will need to unmute. Once unmuted, you can introduce yourself and ask your question. Um, you also need to see your face as well. Uh, if you can, yes. show your video. We we'll also need to see your face. Uh, we have a question from Sia Tokoza. Uh, they're asking about the cost of covering a single hectare. This is this question's for you, Mr. Jean. It's it's the document cost. It's it's four hundred thousand um, to 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 establish a single hectare. The cost majority being bulldozing or machinery work. Um, you're looking at around um, eighty to hundred thousand. Uh, you've got your plant material, which you're looking at around the the cost of a tree from a nursery is costing or anything between seventy and eighty five rand. You need around three hundred and forty two. To 350 trees to cover to cover a hectare, and then the irrigation setup is going to cost you around 150 thousand per hectare um, to get by. Then, of course, the cost of your labor, uh, planting, medium material, um, you know, yeah. So it's around 400 thousand rand uh, per hectare to establish. Great. All right. Um, we have a question from Mansell. Mansell, if you can, uh, can we see you? And can you answer your question on the on the on the video, live video? The question is: What are the typical products and value proposition? So, guys, the 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 the, the, the standard ones normally. So, the standard ones is. When, when the nuts get cracked from the factory, the traditional products were usually kernels, which is the nut, which is then, you know, from the green husk, as you saw the pictures, you get the brown nuts itself. Once that's cracked, you get your, you get your, you get your whole nuts, you get your, 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 your three quarter nuts, you get your half nuts, you get your bits and pieces. So that, that was traditionally based on, on, on how the client wanted to consume it. When you go to the shop, You'll find your whole nuts are slightly more expensive um, than your half nuts. Uh, so you get those; those are the ones to to consume as a, as a, as a snack. And then, of course, you get you get your bits and pieces that are, are made available to the ingredient ingredient market. Those are the, the the ladies that produce the cakes, or the gentlemen that produce the cakes, uh, or the ingredients or the snacks. You get that kind of stuff, and then. The, the 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 unusable nuts means that those are damaged through insects um, or simply rejected by the by, by the factories. Those were then pressed and processed for oil. Where things are getting to now is is I know um, one or two of the factories are getting to the the same way as you find almond milk at 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 your at your Woolies. Macadamia is also trying to get in 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 into that space, and I think really. The uh, and of course your your cooking oil. I, I did mention cooking oil. Um, they're trying to look at 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 the industry itself is going towards a direction where they they the macadamia nut itself remains a commodity and not and not um and not um and not a commercial product, so that it's still able to maintain its price um as as a high value crop. So what is happening now is. Very very shortly, I think some of you have enjoyed a, a Magnum chocolate, which is infused with macadamia nuts. You know, so those those are really value as the value add is starting to play more and more into what the what what consumers are are, are buying in 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 today and at, at, at the market stores. And I think what is coming up next is really the the how do we stay away from Mr. Shazi? How do we stay away from kettle milk or or cow milk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I think that's really the next competition for you guys. It's Absolutely. they say it's a healthier milk. It's got all the benefits of, mm -hmm. of macadamia oil, and and re that's really the next big thing you guys, the market can expect um, from from macadamia production is 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 is, is pasteurized milk, hundred yeah. percent from macadamia macadamia produce. Yeah, I I, I I'm always in favor of. Uh, Thank of, you. Of these competitions. Okay, uh, we have more <laughs> questions flooding in. Oh. 
No, sorry, sorry. To that, I was saying when, when the competition no from 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 the when the competition comes from plant based uh, plant based uh, vegan uh, burgers and almond milk, I, I'm always so happy because uh, those are things in the future that livestock world needs to be participating in. Uh, at some point, we're going to plant uh, whatever plants are used to make the vegan burger. You know because. Uh, I think the I think investing in agriculture is a human right, and uh, we we want to be there to to just to make sure that vegans uh, everyone uh, are able to invest in something they can eat. Yeah, so thanks for that. All right, okay. Um, there are more questions flooding in, in on on the chat, but we would love to engage with you guys. So. Um, if you can, please uh, unmute yourself and ask the question. Uh, but okay, here yeah, we have a question from Mpo. They're asking, what would you regard as a great investment or how would you, what, how would be a great investment for an investor be? Yeah. Um, let me take that one, Jean. Um, all right. So, so, uh, so, um, so in, in investing in in the macadamia like we uh, like the, the ones that gene is planting uh, essentially how it how it works is that you as you as the investor you buy and own the tree that is that has been planted by the farm so that is 2000 rand uh, that's 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 your price of buying and owning this tree now you are not involved in the bush clearing. You are not involved in the insurance. Uh, Gene has got an insurance policy that covers his uh, his orchard uh, for for any fire damage, etc. But you, the owner of this tree, now you then own this tree as it grows for a period of six years. Then it means that your investment term is is a is a six year investment in the same way as a fixed deposit at a bank. Now, then when it comes to the end of the term, which is six years, then uh, Farmer Gene then buys back this tree that you bought for 2,000 red, and he buys it for between uh, 3.9 and 4.2, 4. 4,200 4, 4, rand. And the differential there is depending on what the the, the price of the of the nuts at the time is. So essentially, let's say if if you are wanting to, if if you start today and you and you've got 2,000 rand, or let's just say, uh, uh, let's just say you got a you got a, a kid who is just starting high school and you know that uh, in six years' time they need to they need to go to university. Uh, so the macadamia investment will be a great investment where you would take take maybe 50,000 rand buying uh, 20 trees, that would be 60,000 rand. And then in six years time, your money would have grown on trees, uh, on the macadamia tree to about, to about 110,000 rand. That's how much you're gonna be getting in six years time. So then you're able to then take that 100,000 rand uh, risks, risks free because all the risks have been covered by the skill of the farmer, the insurance, Etc. and all the other due diligence that we do as livestock world to secure your investment. And then, and then you've got 110,000 rand, uh, then which you then go to the University of uh, Cape Town, Joburg, wherever, you pay the school fees and then, uh, and, then, and then the kid is able to get an education. Uh, in fact, the Macadamia investment is one of our best investments from a return on investment, because uh, on average, the return it brings is about 13.5% per annum if you, if you analyze it. But if you were to take that money, if you were to take 50,000 rand uh, today and put it at the bank, uh, you will be lucky to get 70, 75,000 in six years' time. You'll be, you'll be very lucky. Thank you, Mr. Shezi. Uh, we have a health related question now. They want to know, Oluetu wants to know what the health benefits are of uh, macadamia macadamias. Sorry. Um, 
it, it's, it's a very lengthy, lengthy kind of a, a, a discussion. Um, I think one can also do a lot of research yourself. But then I know from from a, from a protein point of view, macadamia stands very, 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 very high in 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 the in the in in health in 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 protein. But then from a fat point of view, you can also do a bit of research. It's actually they call it one of the healthiest fats that one can get in, in, in your system. So those are really the two, the, the, two, the two big ones that I can just flag out for you uh, amongst many other, but then the, 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 the good oils or the good fats, they call them. And of course, the, the protein are the two big um, uh, uh, but the ticket items from a health point of view. Uh, we also have a question uh, from Academia's Drop. Yeah, um, I think we'll both uh, we'll we'll both uh, t- uh, take this one. Uh, so, currently, mac- macadamia is 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 the highest grossing um, crop that you can plant in a hectare. So, for example, like uh, with cattle, uh, the maximum amount of income you can get from one hectare of cattle planting of cattle farming is about two and a half thousand rand. That is the today's today's value values, but Let's say like for like, let's say you could you could choose to, on the same land, you could choose to plant cattle or you, or you could choose to plant macadamia. The macadamia, on the other hand, whereas the cattle gives you two and a half thousand rand per hectare, the macadamia on the same land is able to give you 400,000 rand uh, 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 back per annum. So now the beauty with, with, the beauty with how we've designed the macadamia uh, product is that we've We've, we've ensured that the farmer is able to take care of the commitment that we've made to you of the return. So, for example, the, the 3,900 rand, that's the minimum price that the farmer will buy the tree back from you, the investor, regardless of what the price does. Okay? And then if the price does go, go up, then, then there's still more on the table for you going up to about 4,200 rand. But now, uh, then, um, I think Jean, you would speak more on that in terms of that the the the, the alternatives for macadamia. Uh, how low does the macadamia uh, uh, price have to crash by for you to be completely broke, such that you don't have to you are unable to buy our trees back? I think that's the that's the other question that someone could could want to know. Mr. Shazi, it's it's a very legitimate, um, it's a very legitimate and good question. I think in in, in today's time, guys, realize that um, a, a single nut, a single macadamia nut, is growing. It's it's it, it, it's going for around a random nut. I know because I've recently purchased this these seedlings at at one of the farmers for one rand one nut. They're paying at around two thousand two hundred rand per crate. So that that's really the that that's really the 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 the, the 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 big um what what possibly could happen Shazi, i think for 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 the investors as well and the peace of mind is that one as farmer uh, madimbo this is not our only development so we've got other developments that are definitely um bringing in resources just to manage risk as well because one does understand that it, it's business any business has got some form of risk so that's really a big driver into committing and doing business business with livestock wealth is that we do know that we also enjoy a lot of uh, benefits from our existing stuff until we wait for these trees um, to, 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 to come into production. From a pricing point of view, currently, for example, this year, the, we, we will not enjoy as much returns as we did last year because the rand is strong. Our 99.5% of macadamia is exported to, to, to China, to Europe, and currently the US is becoming a bigger and bigger buyer, and the, our returns are dollar-based. So um, the RAND is, is, is proving to, to be resilient against the US dollar, so meaning that um, you know, our prices won't be as exciting as that that we enjoyed for the past um, two years. So that's definitely a, a very big variable, but then we will still get um, a, a very, very good in, in return because we've got more nuts, we've got better quality because we enjoyed a lot of rain in our area. So all of a sudden, the weather becomes a, a factor to 
to to to to to to to to to the to the outcome as well. Um, climate becomes a big challenge, and yet again, I think nutrition and and how we invest our investors' money, how we try to improve the plant quality, the plant health, with the investments that you guys make to the farmer, which is myself, that plays a big role because we need to make sure that we we really can can set up that tree to 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 success. Um, as far as the markets go. Um, you know, our, our, our processes and our handlers, we actually, the marketers, they're very bullish about the way forward, about macadamia. They're, they're very bullish. The last, the last session I attended with Green Farms, the, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm very comfortable that we can easily plant. So if, if one is able to plant trees in 20, in, 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 in 20, 30 means that, that Person planting trees at that time is really looking at getting produce in 20 pet farmers or the prospective macadamia farmers are, are, are really excited. Your ZZ2s, uh, the, the avil farmers are diversifying into macadamias. So the macadamia farmers into, into, into macadamia. So the market is really bullish. And I think what gives us the confidence to continue on expanding our businesses is really we're looking at the environment. The environment is planting, they're clearing. So we need to do the same just to make sure that we're able to whatever we can we can't match in in price, we're able to match in volume. So that's why planting becomes critical, Mr. Hazy. That's that's right. I think um, to add the gene as well from a cash flow point of view, uh, maybe add something around the the, the butternut that you're planting around, the macadamias as well. But I think that, that, that just to bring a little bit of insight there as well. All right, guys. So I think, Mr. Shiz, that's something, and I'll put a, I'll put a big smile when, once you talk about that, because, um, you yeah. know, once we, whilst we wait and, and, and wait for the macadamias to produce, we, we, we're, not, we're not idling and really just nursing those trees. What you saw in some of those pictures there, we did, we did a very, very good butternut crop last year. Um, that was really just taking advantage of the space because we've got a good eight meters uh, between the trees and then we've got four meters in between. So we took advantage of that eight meters and we planted winter winter butternut in the winter. And that really helped us um, get, get, get some cash flow and get some cash into the business. Um, what we currently have on the ground now, we've, we've planted 17 hectares of, of, of tomatoes and, and that really can only be done through the support of, of, of our investors. Um, 17 hectares of, of tomato trans, translates to around 2,000 um, 2, tons of tomato. Um, guys, you must really see the demand of, 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 of these tomatoes. It's crazy. We're working Monday to Sunday trying to help this market. With those recent rains, the rains destroyed a lot of crop around our area. So we're one of the fortunate people that have got some tomatoes lying around. So the, 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 I think the cash flow or the investment not only supports the macadamias, but we also find other means to diversify or get a cash crop into, um, into the ground and out from a, from, from, from a, from a, from a, from a resource point of view. Um, you know, the tomatoes, guys, it's, we, we not only thrive for, it's not only the resources that we thrive for in the, in the communities that we work in, guys, it's, it's unbelievable. We've got 82 people working on our farm as we speak, guys. It's it's big change that that we it, it's big change that 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 your investments help us with because now all it means is we've got 80 plus communities that are really depending on our support, on your support, and on my support. And really, my job is just to keep this boat boat afloat. The macadamias are growing very very well, very very healthy. But in the meantime. We're really trying as much as possible, Shazi, to, mm -hmm. to, to really launch alternative crops just to make sure that we keep, we keep cash flow and we keep investments coming in just to make sure that we are able to minimize or manage our own risk and expectations to give return and investment to our clients. Yeah. Great. Um, still on the still on the report, Gina, I, I, I saw something about capital gains tax too, and I think that's the one other uh, question that uh, people is spending. So I wanted just to address that. So um, yes, in terms of our 
our our advice that we've received is that you know as the creek grows and increases in value it, it does attract uh, capital gains tax and then you would uh, get in touch with your financial advisor and and then and, and be and he can be able to then advise in terms of how to to then uh, structure your tax affairs uh, when you receive your um, when you receive your your income uh, from 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 the from the tree when when the farmer is buying back it's like buying an asset that is low value today and then uh, in 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 six years time you are buying a higher value asset so um yeah so that that's i think on on the on the on the tech side that's that's always our our advice uh, in terms of how to treat and how to but your your financial advisor or tax person will be able to assist on that yeah yeah. Okay, uh, so we have a lot of questions, but uh, we've run out of time, unfortunately. Uh, it's 11.50, <laughs> so I'll hand this over to you now, Mr. Uh, Chase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, uh, please bring Jean on a little bit there. Uh, uh, bring this Jean, Jean back on the screen, uh, just one sec. Jean, uh, where, where is he, where is he? There we go. Jean, thank you so much, uh, Bra, for, 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 for joining and being part of this. I know it's a, it's a short amount of time. Uh, uh, now, in the country, in terms of uh, in terms of black farmers who are who are who are doing macadamia, uh, I think you can count them with one hand. Uh, and and Jean is up there. And Jean, we are we are so proud of the work that you've done. And uh, we we as last couple we're happy being associated with you. Uh, and we're also happy with the with the work. You know. All macadamia farmers, you know, are, are getting in touch with us. So we're going to be expanding our our our, our network of farmers beyond Madibo. Um, we we do not uh, we we do not believe in, in 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 racial segregation. We want agriculture to 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 prosper. For me, that is one thing in my heart. You know, in that this country has got so much to offer the world, and we need black farmers, white farmers, colored farmers, Indian farmers. We need everyone really pulling together uh, to, to create jobs in this country. Gene has got 82 people working on his farm. Um, if, we, if we double down investing in agriculture, we can create millions of jobs. Uh, and, 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 and for us, we, we're happy at being at the forefront of that. And, and we, we really welcome all farmers. And, uh, we, uh, they, we, we can't keep up with macadamia farmers wanting to work with us. Uh, but we, as the demand is growing, as more people are wanting to invest with us, we can be able to then commit and plant more, more, more trees in the south coast, etc. So, Bajin, thank you so much uh, for for being part of this uh, webinar. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, guys.